Hey guys, what's going on? It's Osas from iOS Softmodder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get sports news and um, scores right here on your lock screen. So before you do anything, before you slide to unlock, all you have right here are a bunch of scores from the top four leagues in the United States. So we have NBA scores, NHL scores, MLB scores, and of course NFL scores, but since the season's over, you won't have any of those right now. And um, you can just easily add this to your iOS device, and I'm just going to show you guys how to do that. So all we're going to need is, of course, a jailbroken device and Sigit. And once we have Sigit, we can add this little lock screen widget. So once you just we open up Cydia, install Sigit, which is free, of course. Just go to search, package names, right here. You see it's right there. Click on that, install it. Or you can add it to the queue, and then we can go ahead and it, install them both at the same time. So now we're going to go for sports, and then lock screen, all one word. You see sports lock screen, Sigit. Click on that. And then again, we're going to install. And once you install both of them, you're going to restart the device. Now, once the, re the device is restarted, we're going to hop into settings. And we're going to scroll down to where all the Cydia apps are. And then we're going to go and search for Sigit. So Sigit's right here. We're going to go to lock Sigit order. And then we're going to make sure that sports, which is going to be the app, is checked. And once that's checked, we're going to go back and then we're going to respring. And when we spring, it'll be enabled. And then, once it's enabled, of course, whenever you lock the screen, it takes sometimes it takes a while to load. Um, it'll be on your lock screen, of course. Now, there are a couple things that the developer is trying to add. There is a way to um, view NCAA football and basketball scores, but uh, he was saying that it's kind of buggy right now, so he's actually disabled it by default. But I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well. So with these scores you can actually click on it and they'll give you a little preview or a little more information about who's playing or who's not and sometimes you can see right there it doesn't always work. So he also mentioned that that happens every now and then but you see here that pops down tells you how many points Kemba Walker scored so you can tap on that and then it'll give you a little breakdown just a little more information of what's going on in the game which is actually really cool. Now if you want to alter things, like if you want to get rid of this logo or get rid of the team logos or re-enable the ticker, there's actually a sports ticker that just shows you the top stories or headlines um, around all the leagues. You can enable that. Now, you will need iFile. And again, iFile is another city app. It's actually $4, but there is a free trial version, which is what I'm using. And it works perfectly fine, and you won't need to obviously buy the the four dollar package just to do this so with um sports widget installed on your phone we're going to go to iFile and this is only if you want to change something if you don't want to change anything then you won't need iFile and you won't need to do any of this stuff so I'm just going to show you the chest so once you get iFile on your phone we're just going to open it up and I'll just walk you through see it's asking me to buy the license exactly where you're going to go so you're going to open it up you're going to go to system library and then in library we're going to scroll down scroll down scroll down until we see lock digits go there you see sports digit tap on that and then where it says config.js we're going to hit this it'll open up the script and um, we're going to begin editing so pretty much anything that says true is going to show up at the lock screen. Now if we change that from true to false, so if you just hit edit, and then you can select the text, and then you can of course move where you're going to go. You can change true to false, and once you do that, that'll hide whatever it is that you just changed. So if I want to re-enable the ticker, which I disabled before, it's going to say var news equals false. Now instead of false, I'm going to change that to true, right there, and then I'm going to hit save. I hit save here, I hit done, 
and that's it. So if you want to change other things, of course, you can go in and read what you can and cannot change. And then, of course, most of the time, you're just going to be changing it from false to true. And now that I've done that, I'm most likely going to respring my device, but I'm just going to make sure that it doesn't actually show up without a respring. Okay, so the ticker will show up right here once I respring my device. So I'll just respring it with my shortcuts that I have. And then I'll show you guys exactly what that looks like when it comes back. Hey guys, so I just resprung my device and I'm just going to show you guys the new ticker that I've unhidden. I'm just using iFile and changing it from false to true. So once this loads up, you'll be able to see the little ticker right there. Scrolling across, it's just telling me that Dwight Howard has 22 points and 16 rebounds. And of course, you can read that for yourself, but um, that'll go through many of the, it's not just NBA it'll go through most of the sports and and whatever news that they find is relevant to put up in the ticker and that's really it so um, I've shown you guys how to get it on your lock screen and how to change um, what you view on your lock screen when it comes to the sports widget so just make sure to check that out it's really cool it's really simple it's great for quick looks at scores and um, information on your favorite sports teams so if you guys like that make sure to like this video um, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.